Next thing we're gonna do is look at another primal movement pattern, which is lunging, okay? So I'm gonna pretend, or you're gonna pretend, sorry, that I'm not here, okay? Lunge, and you're gonna tell me where you feel the muscle groups activating. Okay. If we need to make some changes and I need to give you some perspective and insight, we'll do so, okay? Let's go ahead and try some lunges. This one? Yeah. Can I see your thing? Absolutely, do your thing. Tell me the story. Yeah, okay? Now, for most people, are they gonna even commit to moving their arms? No, okay? What have most people been taught to do with lunges? Yeah. Hands here, okay? Why is that a problem? We were talking about posture and setup. What are they selling? That short, that shoulder position, concave shoulders. They're not understanding or interacting with the depth change and the movement and the momentum, and now they're just relying on their legs solely. Does the body move with certain points, or does it the whole body move at one point? It's a whole chain. Yeah, exactly, okay? Now, getting back to what we were saying, with this walking lunge, where did you feel it? Everywhere, I was, I was really focusing on my core. Right. Trying to keep everything straight okay. and like a vertical line. Cool, yeah. okay. Again, my man here is ahead of the curve, okay? What are you typically gonna see, what I just talked about? And what are they gonna feel? Um, imbalance. But where? Uh, Think about the front part of the body. Where are they gonna feel the weight? Most of the time, because they're not doing what you would do or what I would do with my education or being taught these things and doing it incorrectly, right, is they're gonna a lunge forward and they're gonna put all that weight forward. So they're gonna feel a very, what we call quad dominant lunge. Oh, okay. Quad dominant lunge is also what? Unstable, okay? Why is that a problem? Think about it like in layman's terms, not getting really deep. If they're putting all their weight and momentum forward and gravity and that force for that speed taking over and they're constantly moving forward, what's happening to their joints? Their joints are getting fried, dude. Like they're putting all that weight emphasis here. Are those those athletes who can't break down and change direction as good? Yeah. They don't understand how to decelerate. They don't understand how to build this sense of strength and control the movement, okay? Now, if those are the people that you're typically gonna get, which is what you typically get, and they still don't understand it, what I like to do is kind of break down the running pattern, okay? The running pattern is essentially consecutive lunges in a shorter range of motion, okay? with a quick transition, or we call it a turnover, okay? Typically speaking, if they have a poor lunging pattern, what are they taught most of the time in programming? Add resistance training, that's somehow gonna magically fix this stuff. It doesn't, okay, it really doesn't. They're just, the technique. yeah, they're exasperating a problem and now they're adding resistance in hopes that it's gonna, that it's gonna fix things, that's guessing. That's not fixing the problem, okay? And again, going back to that running example, I want to get their whole body activating, okay? To give that running example, do I run like this? I get my arms to go, right? So, typically speaking, they're not going to move right, so I will break down a run stride, or sorry, a lunge stride for them, okay? And I'll do it with them. So, you can come join me here. Pretend as if you don't know what the heck's going on, okay? So, I want them to feel it more so in their shoulder blades, their core, their glutes and their hamstrings and their obliques. The quad will get a stretch. Oh hell, but they're not gonna do everything, okay? Because I wanna save their joints and allow their whole body to activate. Also, when we fix this, they'll get a lot more spring and intentional power, which is what we want. Power is the, it's the key to most athletes and most even people. Power is a combination of strength and speed. From those components, I also keep everything aligned and safe, okay? so. We'll do this again. combination of strength and, and speed. speed. Yes. Okay. So the best way to really understand that is when we're doing a lot of exercises, they need to be intentional. A lot of what the issue we're talking about is people go through the motions because they're not activating things completely and consistently. This exercise is supposed to do A, B, and C, but it's probably only giving them A because they're just not being intentional and keeping those muscle groups, I like to say, responsible or active the whole time. Okay, so I'll show them how to do a lunge, so we'll do it together, okay? First things first, I don't wanna be leaning excessively at some point, I want the weight down the center of my body, okay? And I am gonna act as if I'm a sprinter. And the best way to do that is to turn on intentional strength or stability. I'll never get that if I just sit out lazy. So what I'm gonna do is work on pushing both knees out. 
I'm gonna tuck my pelvis into a neutral position. We address that most people are sitting here. So all that weight will go through the joints. So I'm gonna keep the pelvis underneath me, keep it strong. And what I wanna do is use this, what we call shoulder girdle, like a sprinter. Not a long lever where this throws me off, but rather a short position where I'm creating tension and everything's intentional. And instead of worrying about going forward, I'm gonna go up. So with all these X or all these components of activation or intentional tension, shoulder blades back, knees out, pelvis straight, without letting it tuck, I'm gonna go up. How much more power did you have from that? A lot, okay? And it keeps the joints safe. Now without resting the knee, do a few more like that, where you're adding intentional strength. Yeah, and then go to the next leg. Go to the next leg. Excellent, okay. So my man did a couple more there. And when he did it, he had more power, stability, activation, okay? Now, we're getting this result because people are moving forward, okay? So with that being said, when I'm breaking down people's lunge, they're not gonna do as good as you usually, or a lot of people won't. Am I gonna continue to create the same exercise of giving that bad feedback or that imbalance feedback? No, why would I keep doing lunges? Lunges with way more forward movement. I would actually take it back. And even know the basic. Right, and you, exactly, they gotta learn that. Because they need to free up space. They're so tight and restricted from doing this stuff for a long period of time that if you keep giving them the same exercise, there's no guarantee it's gonna fix it. So they and basically they, have to unlearn to learn. Somewhat. More like just learn how to be more intentional with activation and space and mobility or range of motion. And if they keep doing cohesive movements where it's all these different angles and stuff, they'll never get it. So what I do is I actually teach people a stationary split stance. I call it like a sprinter one. Okay? So instead of getting like them all over the place, I'll teach them how to stay in that aligned posture where I engage the back foot. It doesn't rest. Okay? As soon as I rest, I can get that turnover position where now I'm just reacting and things aren't evenly loaded. Because my goal is to load the weight down the center of my body, not have a shift. Okay? From here with my feet up, I'm going to shove both knees up. Okay? I want this hip to be in straight ahead, not turning out, so I keep the glutes engaged. And what I'll eventually do is actually introduce weight here, instead of in behind me or in my hand. And I'll do this. Why do I do that? Shoulder blades are staying engaged. They don't rest. They don't get a chance to quit and not do what they're supposed to do, okay? And then from here, what I would do is just work on the same positioning. There's no transfer, okay? I just go straight up and down. This is a sprinter's lunge because when I go to break down those movements, this is the same commitment I'm gonna have when I have to drive. Okay? You wanna design programs that work with people's goals. Regardless of what the exercise may look like, yeah. right? You wanna give them something that's gonna give them what they want, okay? In the bigger scheme of things and to free up space and do all these things, okay? If you can have a blend of those exercises that helps them produce or perform better, and in the same time, it's kind of fun and challenging, and they don't realize their body's moving better, and it's freeing up space, and they have less pain. Again, you'll still forever be in your debt. Okay? Cool. All right.